Well, hello, it's time for a CSS battle. <clears throat> Ooh, a curve. Two different curves, that is not a clean curve. Uh, I believe, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, I'm gonna do the template, but I think I'm gonna stick with the body. All right. What are our steps? I think I wanna see what that top curve is. So our background is a radial gradient, and it's a circle. All of them are circles with different radiuses, radii, <laughs> uh, and radiating outward. And our syntax must be solid. We will not get to see anything. And the reason we don't see anything yet, because I don't have gold in the middle. Okay. So let's see what happens. Let's go that curve. So the okay, so I feel like that might be what the inner curve is, a hundred pixels. So let's let's see what we can do there. Uh, at 50%, so that's the middle going across and downwards to 210. Oh, so what we would like to see is that curve to be precisely the same as the one below it, and that's not what it is. Better. So right now, I'm, it, you can't quite tell, but uh, I'm trying to do the lower curve. That looks right. So, uh, so that's the that's the lower bounds um, of our curve, and that's uh, sort of on the irritating side. Um, Let's let's limit. Uh, okay, so so let's let's call that one good, even though we know it's not. And we're gonna have that be that part, and then we'll get the stripe is the easiest part, the vertical stripe. So what I'm gonna worry about first is are these two curves. The second radial gradient is a different circle. So I'm just going to copy the whole thing and say it's bigger and it's at 100 pixels and we're going to call it gold. We're going to do gold in the middle of this one and that's below it. So can we match that to Maybe. And then if we have uh, trailing that, are we there? Yeah. So that's, this is, this is a pretty much a best case scenario. Um, quite like that. So, uh, I think that that makes me inclined to then do a border, uh, border solid blue, and you'll note that problematic part. So we've got no, no. So the default uh, border has a certain width. I think it's a pixel. Um, so if we do margin zero. And then do we do, we do border width for the tops, top, bottom, and sides? Uh, and strictly speaking, we need zero. And then on the sides, 50. And then the bottom, 50, let's say. 
and then we see where we land there. Okay. So now we have that. Not too bad. So two gradients and a border. And now we'll do the middle stripe, right? Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to... Oh, they're both in the same place, aren't they? Look at that. That's kind of fun. They are centered in the same location. And it surprises me. So if that's the case, then we don't need two radial gradients, do we? We can do gold, 0, 130 pixels, and have it? Is that correct? That can't be true. Nope, that's true. So we were able to simplify. I, I had an instinct that, and which was wrong, that these two curves, because they were so different, uh, were, were uh, had to be different circles, but that was false. So now we're going to do uh, our inner. So ah, so we're going to flip this. So now the only thing counted, not accounted for, is this. So now we can do uh, what sixty. One, two, three. And now we do our. And actually, a conic gradient is not what we want. We just want a linear gradient that goes sideways. 90 degrees. Blue. Yellow. And blue. And if we're lucky, we can do percentages, uh, probably 45, 0, 55%, and 0. That's a guess. <laughs> that was a guess that was right. So that's 45% across, ending at 55%. So blue, 40, and then we submit and we see if that's correct. Yeah, surprising one. Uh, I, I really was pretty sure that was a trick question, that that curve was not the correct thing. And I'll stop there. Thanks for watching.